there's been research that shows and studies that show that it can help with metabolic syndrome. I don't know right. why I can't say that. <laughs> and the, actually the study that they did was a controlled 12-week study mm -hmm. and they took people with metabolic syndrome on a ketogenic diet and they lost 14% of their body fat in 12 weeks. And so that decreased their triglycerides by more than 50% and they experienced several other improvements in health markers. And the thing with metabolic syndrome is that a lot of why it occurs, so scientists agree and doctors as well, is a lot of times it has to do with your weight, having weight to lose, cut up all of these markers. So by practicing the ketogenic diet, they're able to lose weight and thus bring down a lot of these markers and put them within safe levels so that their insulin is under control. Right, right. All right, so that's one. And one of the good things about this article is, although it will talk about the different health conditions, but it also has a part where it says the bottom line. Right, it's a summary. A summary of what, of for what, each condition, right. what the ketogenic and this, diet might do. And, and this really isn't, I mean, it's got good information, but it's not super... Um, it's not going to hurt your brain yes, to read it. it won't. Because they are talking about these studies, which I find beneficial because uh, some of these studies are animal studies, but some of them are also controlled human studies, right. and that's paving the way for more human studies. The problem is, is that a lot of times funding is lacking in newer diets like the ketogenic diet. So, Which isn't really right, a new diet. Right, but as we're progressing and the popularity of this diet continues, more and more studies are being funded and being done. So sure. this is good. This is like a base for that happening. Right. So. So the next one is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Or PCOS, Okay. if you've heard of that. Now, until I had come into the world of keto, and keto on YouTube, to be honest, I had never heard of PCOS. And, and, and I guess, I hate to say it, but why would I? Cause I'm not, <laughs> you don't have ovaries? I don't what? have ovaries. But, <laughs> and I'm not trying to, trying to make light of it. I'm just saying I had never heard of it before we, I started, we started the keto. I had never heard of it. I never knew it was I issue. have indeed have had PCOS in oh. my lifetime. I had extremely cystic ovaries. I did not suffer with a lot of the consequences that a lot of women have as far as infertility or irregular periods or any of those things. But I did have, via ultrasound, I was able to see how cystic my ovaries were. Hmm. So well. since beginning this lifestyle, I have not had any difficulties at all with this. And sometimes um, women with PCOS can have infertility and they can also have difficulties losing weight. So there's a lot of anecdotal evidence to be found online. However, they 